So the uh, first thing that uh, I wanted to share is that uh, in the last session, you know, the uh, tracking was not working for me. And uh, so what I had to do was what I was telling you yesterday, I put one, uh, you know, uh, to check my, my code, I put this show icon so that I could figure out if my I2C communication is working properly or not. And I didn't get a check mark uh, on my uh, on my micro bit. And that told me there is a problem with the I2C communication. And because there was a problem with the I2C communication, then I step by step looked at everything. And it turns out that my uh, uh, the, the edge connector, the breakout board in which I was putting the micro bit, there was a problem with that board. So I'm just saying that it can be for many, many things. So I had to change the board. And now, um, so I'm getting this checkbox here uh, on my micro bit. Uh, sorry, here. Uh, so that means that uh, in my micro bit is now connected to my uh, I2C and it's working properly. And then uh, if you see now, uh, uh, so if you see that, On, on the Husky lens, uh, the object that red car is not there. And hence, when Husky lens is not able to detect the object, uh, which you have trained it to detect uh, in object tracking, you will get this minus one, minus one coordinates. So minus one, minus one coordinates means uh, that Husky lens is not able to find that object in what in the frame that it is currently viewing. And this is could be very interesting because if I wanted to write a write code uh, for some program where I wanted to see whether uh, you know some object is present or not present, then I could use this minus one minus one. So I could put a conditional statement in my uh, code saying that if the x coordinate value is minus one and y coordinate value is minus one, then whatever object is not present. So whatever I want to do with the code. So once this is done, then if I run uh, this, so now it's looking, it's it's seeing the ID and it's live updating the X and Y coordinates of the object as it it is appearing on the uh, on on the Husky lens. And if I play this again, so now there are multiple objects moving, uh, and there are two red cars. But what I'm saying is that uh, I, even if you're it's seeing multiple objects, it will recognize the object for which it has been trained. Okay, so that is what I meant that you can put multiple objects on the screen. You can't train it to recognize. I'm not sure whether in object tracking you can uh, train it to uh, uh, recognize multiple objects. But basically, uh, uh, if even if you have multiple objects on the screen, it will determine. Uh, you know, the, the, the right uh, object that you have trained it to recognize. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to pause for a minute. If you have any questions, please ask. So then uh, next, uh, what, what we are going to look at, because we, we want to discuss that Arduino Nano 33 BLE sense, but uh, to get into that, I thought uh, uh, where we can start is, uh, we can start with how to use Husky Lens with Arduino. Okay. Now, when I'm saying let's use Husky Lens with Arduino, it doesn't matter which Arduino you have. Okay. So even if you have the regular Uno, it will work. If you have Mac, you know, whatever uh, Arduino Nano and whichever board you have, uh, Husky Lens will work on all of those. So if you have any of these, you can use that. Or if you are carrying this uh, Nano BLE Sense with you, then it will work on this also. So it doesn't matter. It will work on all the boards whatever we are going to do next. Okay, so you can use whichever board you, you have. Uh, so I'm just going to share my screen. Uh, so Husky Lens with Arduino. Okay, so uh, that so the first thing is that, uh, again, the pinout, uh, uh, we, don't, we, we, we don't care. Uh, I mean, uh, we are going to connect Husky Lens with Arduino using I2C. So like I said, uh, when electronic devices communicate with each other, there are two main protocols. One protocol is I2C and the other protocol is called UART. So when we are connect, we were connecting uh, a Husky lens with uh, microbit, 
the only option was i to c and you don't have to worry about all that all you have to worry is that if you remember in arduino i told you that you know uh, in sorry in husky lens i told you that in husky lens you have to go to uh, uh, you know you have to click and you have to go to settings and protocol and select the right protocol so in husky lens uh, in microbit we were using i to c because that's the only mode available to us and for that we have to connect you know pin 19 and 20 when you are using microbit you have the option for both you you can either connect your Ar uh, arduino with i2c using i2c or uh, you can connect arduino and husky lens using uart and this this kind of pin out this is a uh, i'm showing you the arduino nano 33 ble uh, pin out but even for other arduinos these particular pins don't change what i mean is if you see here then pin a4 is called the uh, i2c serial data uh, so th this is the one uh, pin A4, analog pin 4. So in Arduino, if you remember, one side are, are digital pins and one side are uh, 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 analog pins. So we are talking about analog pin A4. And that is where you will connect the green because that's the serial data. And uh, uh, pin A5 is the serial clock. So if you're connecting for I2C, that is where you will connect the uh the blue wire from the uh, husky lens okay so we will stick with i2c because these are just communication protocols nothing else changes but let's say for some future project for some reason i2c does not work for you and you need to use uart then uart standard pins are you know uh, pin zero like you know you can see on the uh, bottom right uh you have got the rx and tx pins okay but if you are using uart protocol uh, to connect Husky Lens with Arduino, you can use any any two digital pins and then declare them in your code. So you can define the define in your code. Okay. So I'm saying I'm not going to go into UART. I'm just mentioning that maybe for some future project, if uh, for any reason I2C is not available and you have to use UART, then you can do that with Arduino. You can't do it with Microbit. But we will stick with I2C. So we will connect. Uh, uh, we will connect our pins like this. So it doesn't matter whether you've got the nano board or you've got whichever uh, Arduino board you have, we will connect uh, analog pin four with green and analog pin five with the blue wire. And then we'll connect the ground, the black wire from Husky lens to ground, and we'll connect the VCC with the five volt. Okay. Uh, the next steps, if you want to follow with me, uh, follow along uh, uh, if, if you can with, you know, if you are uh, on your laptop and you are uh, uh, connected to the internet, this wiring I'll anyway share also in, in our, you know, group chat, uh, you know, this schematic, but the next steps are basically we need to install uh, a library, uh, Husky Lens library in uh, our Arduino IDE. It's, it's not a library which is available by default. So you have to follow just, you know, two more steps to install that library. So I, I don't know if you've ever done installation of a library for Arduino use on GitHub, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll, uh, uh, later I'll share this link uh, in, in the group chat. Uh, so you go to this uh, website, github.com slash husky lens slash husky lens Arduino. Okay, so I, if I just click here, and I say open link. So this GitHub page will open for you. Okay. Uh, uh, don't worry, I'll anyway, I'll pause the video after this so that you can follow along. Uh, so this GitHub page will open for you. And in GitHub, when you will go here, the green button, which says code, and you click on the drop down, then you will have all these options. You simply go and say, download the zip file. So it will download the entire uh, library for you. So download the zip file. Okay. So it's downloaded wherever, you know, it gets saved on your PC or laptop. So once you have downloaded, you, uh, you have to install this. Okay. So basically you have to unzip the file. So if you just click on it, it should unzip. And once it unzips, you will have a folder called Husky lens and it will, uh, as you can see on, on the, on the right side, it will have all these files, df robot, husky lens dot cpp dot h examples, whatever all of this, it'll all come the one, once you download it. And all you have to do is copy this Husky lens folder inside your Arduino library folder. 
and in windows i can't show you because i'm not using windows but in windows usually it's under my documents slash arduino slash libraries okay so if you can see for me it's like arduino so it's under documents arduino library and i have just copied that uh, whole folder here okay so i'm just repeating the process and then i will pause the video so you can do it uh, so this wiring we can do later we are just installing the library first so you will go to this link which i'll just share once you are on this link you will go to the code button and you will download the zip file you will uh, unzip the archive you will get a folder called husky lens that whole folder with everything inside you just copy that to my documents slash arduino slash libraries okay so i'll just pause the video here and uh, uh, so that you can install this and then we'll continue so uh, if you were able to follow all the steps uh, go to uh, github and download the zip file unzip the file and then uh, copy the entire husky lens folder inside the libraries folder in uh, your arduino uh, folder on in your computer then when you will launch arduino ide so you know the uh, arduino ide uh, I hope you've got it installed. Uh, if you have a problem, then ask me and I'll tell you how to uh, install the Arduino IDE. But if it's installed in your uh, PC or laptop, so I, I have the IDE here. So if you have the IDE uh, installed and if everything is okay, then if you will go to file, examples and scroll all the way down, you will see that these are all the libraries, okay? And this Husky Lens is the library you have just copied. So if everything is working fine, then in File, Examples, Husky Lens, you should have these uh, sample code. Okay. So next, what you can do is I will tell you a different sample code, which we are going to uh, uh, look at. Uh, but if if all this is working, that means, you know, we are, we are good to go. And... Uh, instead of using these examples, which you can try later when we take a break, uh, I'm going to give you a different example. And the example I'm giving you is based on the question you had asked yesterday. Uh, somebody had asked yesterday whether when Husky Lens is looking at something, uh, whether it's a face or a color, uh, instead of saying ID1, ID2, can we rewrite that name? Uh, and I had said yesterday that you can't do that in Microbit, but you can do it in Arduino. So let's, I'll show you that sample where you can, when a Husky Lens is looking at something, you can redefine whatever it is looking at. And rather than ID1, ID2, you can say whether it's a color or a face or, or whatever that object is. So uh, we are going to use that example. And uh, the code for that is here, which I will uh, share with you later. Uh, I found this code online on a website called dronebotworkshop.com slash husky lens. So you can also go straight here and you will get the code from there. I'll also paste the code. So what I'm doing is I am copying this whole code uh, and I am pasting. So I'm, I'm going to delete what is here uh, and I'm going to paste it uh, in the IDE. So now I have a, a code here. Uh, and here, uh, based on, uh, 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 you know, the objects you're recognizing, you can define some specific names for, for, for those. So the one I am going to do is I'm going to recognize colors and I'm going to recognize uh, three colors. Okay. So based on what you want to do, you have to change the code slightly. Okay. So... Uh, See, the, this code is all there. So this is what I had tried yesterday, uh, face recognition to give it my name. Now I'm changing this and I'm saying I'm going to recognize three colors and my first color is going to be red. So I'm just changing this, uh, you know, red here, comma one. So the ID number one will be called red. ID number two will be called green. And then I want to create one more ID. So I'm just going to copy this thing put it here and say that ID three 
will be orange. That's it. Okay. So I'm saying whatever you are recognizing. So, uh, you know, these are IDs, ID one, two, three. So you can create another fourth one. Uh, and then based on whatever you are recognizing, whatever is your ID one, if it's face, then whoever, uh, whosoever's face it is, you can give that name. If it's an object, you can, uh, objects are anyway uh, pre-recognized in uh, uh, Husky lens, but whatever you are recognizing, you're doing, okay? So I'm saying this code is now ready. And here is my setup. Uh, so here is my setup. Uh, so you will have to do uh, these things that you will have to connect. Uh, like we said, we are going to use I2C communication in Arduino. And hence you have to connect it to uh, uh, A4 and A5, analog pin four and analog pin five. Uh, and you have to connect to uh, VC and ground. So I've connected everything here. And now because I'm connecting it to five volts, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I mean, if you want, you can, but I have not connected the uh, Husky lens uh, USB because I am getting the power for Husky lens straight from this board, right? So my Husky lens is working, okay? Uh, so my Husky lens is working. Uh, my Arduino is connected. So when my Arduino is connected to my, my laptop or my PC, uh, then you go to the IDE, okay? And... Uh, it should uh, uh, it should recognize your board okay so it depends upon which board you're using if you're using regular arduino board uh, you know your arduino uh, uno or nano or whichever one then it should automatically recognize but if if the ide is not recognizing your board then the first thing you have to do is install that board okay so i'm assuming that you are familiar with arduino and you know how to do this if not, then you ask me and I will explain uh, in, in detail later. Uh, but what I'm saying is that, uh, see, your interface will be slightly different for the Arduino IDE because I am using, uh, uh, I'm using uh, Mac, you are using Windows, but basically somewhere it'll have boards. And if you have got the new, new board, this board, uh, then you, if it doesn't recognize automatically, uh, sometimes when you when you uh, you know use the USB, it should automatically recognize. But if it is not recognizing, then you have to search for it. So I'm saying, for example, I, I'm on in Boards Manager. I have got the uh, uh, Arduino Nano BLE 33 cents. That's the name of the board. So I'm writing here BLE, and I am getting this Arduino Embed OS Nano Boards. This is the board, and it. Uh, it says here that it is meant for nano 33 BLE board. Okay. So uh, I've already installed it. So you will see something like this install and you'll click that install and then the board will get uh, installed in the IDE. So that's the first step. So uh, depending upon which board you are using, which Arduino board you are using and whether it's auto recognizing it or not, you will have to install the board. Once you have installed the board, then Bay, uh, you know, wherever it's connected to whichever port, it will recognize all of those things. So you have to recognize the board and you have to recognize the port, which is a standard thing to do with Arduino IDE. So I'm assuming, you know, if you don't know, then, you know, you can ask, ask me later. So once I have both these things connected, then it's simple, simply, you know, transferring the code. So to transfer the code here, it's the upload. So my, uh, my nano is connected via USB. So I'm just saying transfer this code. So it's going to compile the sketch. It's going to compile this program. And then if everything is working fine, all the boards and everything is selected, then it will upload and it will say 100% uploading done. Okay. Uh, and now remember what we have done. We What, what I had done was I had said, uh, I want to do color recognition and I want to say color uh, ID one is red, ID two is green and ID three is orange. Okay. So now I'm going to show you uh, this. So I've got my board. I've, I've transferred the code. Uh, this is my, uh, uh, my Husky lens. Okay. So I am, again, I'm going to color recognition. Okay. I'm selecting color recognition. I'm going to forget what it has learned earlier. So now I get this plus sign uh, and I am going to train it on the first color, red. 
So I'm going to hold it, uh, learning, release it. And now you see, it's not just saying ID one, it's saying red. Okay, now I'm going to put it on the second one. So first one, uh, red, and then uh, uh, it will probably not, let's see if it's in multiple. So I want to say learn multiple, switch it on. Remember yesterday I told you, you have to make it learn multiple IDs. So we are learning multiple IDs and then save and return. Yes. Now first color. Okay. Uh, then second color and then third color. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, once it's done now, when I will show it red, it's not only saying, uh, uh, ID one, it's also saying red, it's saying green and it's saying orange. Okay. So it's saying all the names now. So, uh, so this is just a simple demonstration of, uh, how to use, uh, Husky lens with Arduino and you can use any Arduino board. It doesn't matter which board. Okay. And I'm just repeating that we are doing I2C communication right now. Okay. So I2C, if you remember, you have to go, uh, you have to press this menu. And then if you go to all the way to general settings, and then you go to protocol type, you select the protocol. So either stay with auto detect and it will work best to stay with auto detect in case it doesn't work. Then you go all the way here and say it's I2C. Okay. But it's best to just leave it at auto detect. Okay. Uh, so, so that is how, uh, you know, you have to do this particular, this is how you connect, uh, Arduino. So I'm going to, uh, stop here and let you, uh, try this and then we'll connect.